What's going on guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my camera setup, um, all my lenses and what camera bag I use, and then also my laptop and what I use to edit. So yeah, let's go right into it. So I'm going to start off with my camera bag. This is a Amazon Basics camera bag, it's uh, pretty basic, it's got about four compartments in it, um, but it fits exactly what I need in it. And it's quite small and compatible, so I quite like it. The next item on the list is, of course, my camera. So this is my body. Um, this is a Canon EOS 750D body. Um, and I have attached a battery grip to the bottom of it. This is my favourite lens, this is just the Nifty 50 of course, um, it's really really good lens, it's probably one of the best lenses to buy when you're starting out with photography, so it's um, got an aperture of 1.4, it is obviously a prime lens, and yeah, um, it's really really light. Um, so if you are using a battery grip, obviously that adds a bit of weight to your camera. But obviously, if you're using a 50mm lens, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna bring the weight a bit down a little bit. It's gonna make the camera a bit lighter. So obviously, this is my favourite lens. Um, it's just been such a great lens at the minute. Um, it's just when we go to lens for portraits. Next lens that I use this is my favourite lens for video. This is a Canon 17 to 85 millimeter. Um, so yeah, this lens is really good. Um, it's my go-to lens for video. So I use this lens um, quite a lot. Um, it's very similar to the 24 to 70 mil, but obviously it's got that bit extra focal length, and the 24 to 70 is a. I think it's a bit of a higher spec, um, but I'm not totally sure, but this lens is really good for its price, so yeah. The next lens is the Canon 55-250mm, to I really like this lens, um, I use it quite a lot when I'm going on like walks with my family. Um, <coughs> It's really, it's really good for getting those really compressed and long distance shots. Um, it does have an aperture of 4.5, which isn't great, but once you're on that, once you're like going above 70mm, um, you can really see the bokeh and you can separate the foreground to the background really easily as it compresses the photo a lot. The next lens is the first lens that I bought. This is the Samyang 8mm Fisheye. This has a, an aperture of 3.5, which is obviously, it's not it's not majorly wide, but it's still quite wide compared to the other lenses. I use this lens for all my skate park stuff. So when I'm doing video, I like to get really wide angles, really low. Um, and it just makes the tricks look, look, look like a really lot higher um, and you can get really up close the next piece of my equipment is of course my Rode mic I'm not 100% sure on the model but I think it might be a Rode Video Mic Go um, um, but yeah this, this mic has been really good for me um, it's really cheap and yeah Improves the sound quality uh, on my camera a lot compared to the actual mic that is fitted with the camera. Uh, but I am going to look at investing in a better mic soon. So the next item of my kit is my GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Um, I really like this camera. Obviously, it's a GoPro, so it's quite small. Uh, it's really easy to 
take him out. Um, I've not had the chance to use it much, but um, when I start travelling and stuff, um, I'll definitely get this out and take some nice shots. So obviously the next part of my kit is my MacBook Pro 13 inch 2019 edition. I absolutely love this laptop. Um, I was I used to edit on an iPad so obviously it's a big step up. It allows me to use Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, Final Cut. But yeah. Um, there are certain occasions when it will be very low in storage. But obviously my first laptop I really like it so yeah I hope you enjoy this video um, I'm going to try and film some more videos like this in the future so yeah if you did like this video give it a like and maybe consider subscribing but yeah until then I'll catch you next time